why would a twin flame block you or ghost you? I heard many clients say, well, if they would love me, they wouldn't do that to me. That means that they don't want me, they don't love me. Is that true? No, it is not true. A twin flame has to mirror you what your own inner issues are. And let's say you have unhealed feelings or fears of abandonment and loss. And that could start with your mom, for example, in your childhood that your mom didn't have a lot of time. Maybe she had to work to provide. Maybe you had siblings that took her attention a bit away from you. Or maybe she just wasn't a warm hearted person. And all of that would install, you know, like a computer program, it would install the program of not getting what you love uh, what you need in love you know people are not available for you either emotionally or in any kind of way and if you have that program running then you can only attract somebody who is showing you that program so imagine it like you're sending out a signal and the signal says people i love are not available for me and that signal will of course attract somebody who will mirror that back to you if you attract a twin flame then their subconscious not their conscious mind their subconscious will read that signal and will know it is their soul of course not their conscious mind and they will know that that is an issue and they will mirror that back to you okay and then they have to go I always tell my clients imagine when you connect with a person you share 100 percent masculine and 100 percent feminine energy because we're gender neutral souls we all have all parts inside of us and what happens is that the feminine energy at that point it's the distorted not the divine feminine energy she would step out of her center into all of the fears the pain the impatience some are even angry that the person is withdrawing you know they have all of the unhealed emotions and that is feminine energy it's more the emotional energy and the masculine energy is more the thoughtful the uh, cerebral energy so imagine the feminine steps out of her center and she takes like 75 percent out of 100% of emotions, which means for the masculine, there's only 25% left. And he has to balance it out, which means that he has to step into the masculine energy, 75%. And so the feminine only has 25% left. What is the unhealed masculine energy? Well, the unhealed masculine energy is oppressing their feelings, withdrawing, and basically running, you know, getting away from those emotions that overwhelm them and the problem is the feminine knows and she feels how he's withdrawing and she's getting even more into her fear into anger frustration all of those negative emotions and then she's stepping i don't know 90 percent into the unhealed feminine emotion and then he's withdrawing even further because he has to balance it out but once the feminine takes her attention away from him and by that, I don't mean that she's not allowed to think about him anymore. She's always allowed to think about him. I'm sorry, it's like sunlight out there and it's kind of like glaring into my face right now. <laughs> but it's beautiful natural light. But anyway, so she is that she learns to take her attention on her own journey. She's still allowed, of course, to think about him. And that's kind of like happening automatically. You cannot force yourself to not think about your person. You, you probably figured that out by now. <laughs> so you're still allowed to think about them. But what you do is you learn to reprogram your mind by not focusing on the lack of their absence, but you visualize being with them. So you focus on union, not them being absent and at the same time you do your inner work if you know that they're triggering some kind of fear of abandonment wound well it is an old wound that needs your attention i always say your person is not like a band-aid that spirit is giving you so you can cover your wound and you don't see it no they come to poke right into it to trigger that pain to show you look there is a wound take care of it don't just cover it take care of it look at it and of course that is a painful process so yeah why would they block you most likely it can have two reasons 
it is an old fear of abandonment your focus is on the other person not being there and that's kind of like the second as well your focus is on the other person not being there so you so you have a belief system about them you attracted them and they initially showed you look you are not trusting you have some issues when it comes to that and then they do run and maybe it's not the first person that ran in your life maybe you have experienced that before many did not all of you but many of you will have experienced things like this before because we do keep attracting the same thing over and over again and in this case it might be people who are not emotionally available and even block and so this was kind of part of the divine plan you attracted them to show you the fear of abandonment they do that by ghosting you by running and yeah of course that is very painful but it is a vital part of this connection because only then you can get conscious about what is happening here another thing is if the feminine really is in like all of the way side of the feminine energy and often she can be too clingy and even if it's not with bombarding him with texts it's she is bombarding him with energy thinking about him all the time but it's not a positive thought it's more like oh my god i'm so mad at you when will you finally come why are you not open come i'm so mad at you you know that those kind of thoughts and of course imagine even if you don't read those energies consciously even if it's only subconsciously but imagine you know somebody is bombarding you with negative energy you would not want to come either right you would try to avoid that situation to avoid that person and that is another reason they have to kind of like protect themselves from the over like indulgent energy of the feminine that is trying i have like an octopus in my mind that is using like all of his arms to wrap around the other person like you are mine now i'm consuming you and that energy it is a bit much and they have to protect themselves but once you are centered once you are in alignment you won't be needy anymore you will still want that person but it is not that need like i need you so i can be happy i need you to give me what i lack on the inside because then you will be happy within yourself and then your person will come and mirror that back so your person's subconsciously or let's rather say the higher self will constantly read your energy if your energy is clingy they will run that is how these connections are even if it's not a twin flame that happens in trauma bonding connections as well another thing is that often um, we are clingy if we have lost people so what usually happens is that one person has like the avoidant attachment style and the other one has like what is the name like the needy attachment style that's not the right word but um, let's just say the needy attachment style like the one that needs the other person to be happy and we always attract a counterpart so if one person is too needy they will attract somebody who has an avoidant attachment style. So I would suggest you not to be mad at the other person because why do they have this avoidant attachment style? They didn't choose that. They didn't get a box from spirit. Like what kind of attachment style would you like? Would you like the healthy attachment style? No. Okay. We have others. Everybody would check off healthy attachment style, right? The normal attachment style. So they also have some kind of trauma that made them in the way they are you know it could have been connected to mom as well that mom was maybe either absent as well in some kind of way so they never learned to really embrace that feminine energy or maybe mom was too like a helicopter mom and too overwhelming as well and then of course they kind of like learned to build walls around them as well but once you learn to unbreak your walls your person will have to mirror that back to you so i promise you if you do your work and you heal those abandonment issues you heal what your person is mirroring back to you then you will attract them even if they have fears it doesn't matter because once you are in your power your attraction will be stronger than whatever their fears are and then you will attract them right in and then they will unblock you so make sure what mindset do you have again 
if you see them as somebody who is constantly blocking you, then that is an affirmation. That's a belief inside of you. And the universe will read that because every time you think, oh, my person is blocking me, that's an order to the universe. And the universe thinks you want to experience whatever you focus on. So every time you think, oh, they're blocking me, they're ghosting me, the universe thinks that is what you want and will keep the blocking. So you need to tell the universe what you want by first of all doing your work. You won't get around that. I'm sorry. There is no shortcut. You do your work. You work on your self-love. You work on your fear of abandonment. You do your inner child work, whatever it is. You do the Ho'oponopono. You do the revision technique. There's so many techniques, but you do the work and you do it thoroughly. You don't just do meditation like every once in a while. No, you get committed to it and you say, I am going to do that daily for several weeks and month even if it's deep rooted you know and then you change your belief systems you know you can work with affirmations like i am worth of giving and receiving love my person is always reaching out to me i am worthy of my person reaching out to me and one thing is important about 80 percent of affirmations should be about you i am worthy and only 20 percent should be like they are constantly reaching out they know they love me you know because they are your mirror so you have to work to reprogram your own image i am ready to give and receive love okay and then on top you can say oh they always think of me a person myself specific person always thinks of me they think about me every day and once you do that your subconscious mind after a period of time and again it can take month yes but your subconscious will learn to believe that and if you go on a mental diet which means you don't do your your affirmations and the rest of the day you're like oh my god i still haven't reached out if you do that then it is not working i'm sorry because then you're building it up and tearing it down at the same time wasted energy um of course it is you need to train the mental diet it's nothing that would happen instantly you know it is something that requires some kind of training but you need to get better in this in affirming being with your person so if you keep on sending out energy like oh we are in separation i miss them so much that's a distorted feminine energy and as long as you are in this energy they will be in the running energy and they don't have an influence on that it's not on them it's not their fault you attracted them like this it's not your fault either it's not you don't want to talk about fault if you have something that is unhealed but it is your responsibility so if you want union it is your responsibility to get into a the attraction mode okay not go running after them not thinking like oh my god maybe i should text them again uh, maybe they already forgot about me stuff like that it doesn't matter okay you get into the receiving mode you work with your affirmation my person is reaching out all the time um they are the only one for me i'm the only one for them i am ready to give and receive true love things like that you know and once you are in this frequency then it has to come it's a law it's the law of assumption you can google that law of assumption it is the law of attraction as well and it is manifesting the universe will have to give you where you are so if you are in energy of separation you can only attract separation so yes they have to ghost you it is a soul contract they promised you to do that in order to make you aware of that unhealed wound of separation and once you have healed that then they have to come that's another law <laughs> unless you have limiting beliefs like oh so much happened they, they won't come then of course the universe will um, prove you right in that belief so once you change your way of thinking you change the outcome situation i hope this helped if it did please like subscribe hit the bell icon and i see you in another video check out the playlist and there are thumbnails popping up right now you can click on them and i see you in another video bye bye <music>